Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Monday morning. It is a Monday. It's a Monday. Sometimes I have so much trouble getting through a Monday. I know it's kind of like a cliche thing, and a lot of people go, oh, Mondays, right? <sighs> but it's actually a thing. Mondays, right? Mondays. So, anyway, I've kind of found a trick that works pretty well for me, which helps me get through. Mondays. Uh, You know, Kratom really helps me with my morning barrier thing that I've described over and over again. I have this weird invisible barrier thing that I put up for myself that like, it's just so hard to like sit, sit down and begin the day. And I mean, once I begin it, it just all goes, you know, like I'm able to do everything. I never like, I've never turned in like a homework assignment late before when I was in high school, college, never. So like I get things done, but for some reason, it's the first part of the day, like just the the first thing. I can't get myself to get into it. And it's like there's some sort of thing I put up for myself. Um, and I have yet to figure out why the heck that is. Kratom helps me break through it. No problem. So I already have this experience of using Kratom in that way. Mondays are a little bit different because not only am I contending with that, but I'm contending with Monday. All right. I've just had a weekend I've been home. I have a job that, you know, I'm lucky enough to have a job where I'm off on the weekend. Uh, I get Saturday and Sunday. So like I'm home, I'm with my wife, my kid, I'm, you know, with my dogs, I'm outside gardening or like just hanging out inside and watching movies and whatever it is, reading. So I, I get a nice couple days there and then it's like, I have to get back into it on Monday and I can't, I can't lag behind just because it's the first day. Like I can't ramp up over the next two days. I need to go. So Kratom, it's helpful, but it's like I'm also trying to get over that weekend thing. And I have trouble with that, too. Um, So I've kind of figured out a trick and I just thought I'd share it. But this is not recommending anything to anybody. As always, uh, this this show does not endorse the use of Kratom. It's just me sharing my experiences and talking about it as an average Kratom user and as a a mediocre, you know, (laughs) <laughs> someone who does mediocre research into into this thing that I care about a bit. So there you go. Here we go. So the trick that I've found works for me is the following. Trying a type of Kratom that either I haven't tried before or, uh, you know, taking a, a type of Kratom that I have tried before, but but not in that way. And the reason why I think this works really well for me is because it's not just that Kratom kind of helps me through this, uh, you know, this difficult barrier wall thing that I have to get myself through at the beginning of the day or, or the beginning of the week. Not only does it kind of help me with that, but but um, it's more like or in tandem with that. It's this idea that it's kind of exciting because I've talked about how th- thinking about Kratom like throughout one's day or any given day I have mixed feelings about because I did one episode where I was like I think that you know I think too much about it some days and then like other days I, I never even think about it at all or months or years I don't even think about Kratom and then like you know uh, for a week straight every day I'm like huh should I take it 
when should I take it? How should I take it? And it's like, I don't like feeling that way when I'm like thinking about it all the time. And then the next episode or two episodes later, I was like, I love when it's Kratom O'Clock. I love thinking about it. I love getting ready to take it. (laughs) So I'm all over the map. You know, I'm certainly, I'm certainly flawed here. So there's that. Um, but you know, taking all that into account, I do get some anticipation. That's really a, a net positive for me when it comes to trying a new type of Kratom, because there's potential, right? Like it's just, there's potential. Like it's just potentially this is going to work really well and I'm not going to take that much of it. So I know it's not going to be like horrible. If it doesn't work, it's more just like, eh, that one doesn't work for me. So in my own experience and in this case, when I'm trying a new type of Kratom at a very low amount, um, you know, (laughs) well-fed, (laughs) well-watered, kind of like I'm a plant and I'm ready to go. It's exciting because it's like, I can't wait to see how well this works or how it doesn't work, but I'm going to learn something here, you know, today. And, uh, and, and now I'm going to take this new thing. It's exciting. Yay. And now let's get to work and we'll see what happens. And let's, let's feel out our body, you know, and now let's open up that computer or that, you know, file and get to work. We'll figure it out. We'll find out soon enough, you know, like just that simple, you know, 20 minutes, that 20 minutes of like, hmm, this is interesting. This kind of feels like it's working pretty well or like, oh, I don't really even know that I took Kratom. Oh, well, you know, but now I'm in, now I'm into my work. Like, and who knows, maybe we'll f- see if it's, if it does anything later, or kicks in a little bit later than normal. And like, it's just like something that transitions me into work mode. And, um, and I don't use this strategy like every Monday or this trick as I call it. Um, you know, it, whatsoever. I don't use this every Monday, but it's just something that I can lean on sometimes if I'm having a rough Monday. And it's almost like a shortcut. It's almost like a shortcut getting into the week and getting into the works week by first starting with something like, you know, dangling a carrot in front of a donkey. Like it's like, here, uh, look at this thing as you're opening up your file. <laughs> I, I am the donkey and I'll, I'll let you think about the other word for donkey and see if that still makes sense. But anyway... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I just, it it works for me. It's something that I can anticipate. It's something that's fun and exciting and new. And it's just minor. It's not going to take up my whole day. It's more just like, oh, here's a fun little quirk this morning that we can look forward to or we can do and see what happens. And now let's get to work and let's, we can see what happens and it's going to happen, you know, no matter what or however it will. And let's get to work. And that's how we'll find out if it's working, you know, because like if I'm super efficient today, there we go. But to, but to know that we have to start, <laughs> you know, so that's kind of like my little cheat, my little shortcut, um, my little trick for starting off a Monday that's pretty rough. And I'll do it once in a while, but I don't do it every Monday. Um, you know, it's also like if you're trying out things that you're not used to or doing something new, that's not something to be taken lightly. And I don't take this lightly. I don't, you know, any other, any given week or any Monday decide out of the blue, Hey, I'm just going to take a pretty high amount or even, you know, a pretty low amount, any amount of this new type of Kratom that I don't know how it's going to affect me. No, I want to be in the right headspace. I want to make sure that I'm healthy and I want to make sure that regardless of what happens, I can still do my job because at the end of the day, what is all this for? It's so that I can do my job. So I'm not going to do something that's going to take me out of the, the most efficient space that I can be in because that would be really terrible and selfish on my part. I don't want to do something in the hopes that it's going to work. And then if it doesn't work, it, the result is I don't get as much work done, you know? So that's why I do small amounts when I'm trying something new and I make sure that I have all my ducks in a row. So um, I think all that's worth saying as well. And it's important. That being said, there's my trick. So let me know what you think. Again, I'm not telling anyone to do this. It's certainly not an endorsement. And this show does not tell anyone to take Kratom or suggest that it's a good idea. And this is just something that seems to work well for me. So, you know, thought it'd be interesting to you. All right, everyone, we'll end it there. Have a good Monday. Get through it however you will. And however you do, do it in a healthy way. Hug from a loved one. That's always a help Um, and, and a joke. (laughs) those also help too worth noting all right everybody we'll be back tomorrow take it easy talk to you then and thanks for listening bye bye